This is the juicy lemon, actually the best lemon variety that the world has ever had. My name is Priscilla Nyairia, your African fruit farming queen. While you're preparing your land to do the juicy lemon farming, you need first the land, of course. You also need a reliable source of water to be watering just in case your area is not raining. A type of soil is not something to worry you when you're going for this farming. You, any type of soil, anywhere, it will do well. But now, the difference will come in watering. If you are uh, in a place where you have a black cotton like mine here, you need to water like twice in a week. In some places with red soil and it is raining, you don't have to water that much. So you plant in a hole of two feet cubed, that is the length, width and depth, two feet. And then while making your holes, if you are able to, you can separate your topsoil, one feet topsoil and the one feet bottom soil. And then you mix two spades of manure, that is about five kgs of manure of your topsoil in that one hole. Once you are done with preparing your holes, from one hole to the other, you make a difference of two meters. And then between the rows, this is from this row to the other one, a difference of three meters. And to surprise you, this particular lemon variety will start fruiting from three months. Yes, three months, not three years. I know most of you have, have planted the lemons and they are fruiting after four, five, seven years. But this one is the best, actually the best that I have ever seen. In all the fruits that I have in my orchard, this particular lemon is fruiting very fast and at a very young age. We don't spray anything. Remember, we do organic farming. And especially for this lemon, I have not sprayed anything since I planted. You just need to be watering. That is about 10 liters per week per plant. You know, if you're planning to plant in an acre, an acre will fit about 600 fruits. That is if you use a distance of three by three. But if you still use two by three, it will do 800. And this fruit at three months, it can give you about 10 to 20 fruits. And a fruit of lemon, we sell between 20 to 30 bob. So that means this one fruit at that age of three months, it can give you more than 200 to 600 Kenya shillings per plant. And it will go on adding more and more. At one year, the plant can give you up to 500 fruits because it's big enough and it's doing very well and able to carry that weight and do you know that so many people love the lemons the reason as to why i'm investing in this particular part in this lemon is because of i'm targeting the hotels that buy to make the dawa and all that so that's why i have it and also it is easy to maintain you spray totally nothing and it will still grow no pests no diseases you just have to be manuring after every three months to two months and you make sure that you water when the sun is too hot or during summer when you want to do this farming the cost of production you put in mind is the cost of seedling a single seedling is 1000 kenya shillings which is equivalent to 10 US dollar for those who want it outside the country. You should also consider the cost of installing your drip irrigation. You can see I'm using drip irrigation in my farm and also the cost of manuring. I said you need five kgs of manure while planting, but after three months, you will have to add like 10 kgs of manure in each and every plant. You also need to include the cost of labor in terms of weeding and also it's good to note that we use those weeds that are growing in between the rows to as the mulching to your plant so it's also good to know that the reason as to why we encourage using the weeds as mulching is because those weeds will decompose and add more nutrients into your soil so it's a very good thing to do the so thing another thing is that it's also a good plant and beautiful so you can also, also just plant it along the compound or even those people who are in apartment. You can pot your plant and be enjoying two, three lemons in a day. We also do, do tipping in apples, but for this one, it branches so well. 
do you know you know the reason as to why we tip is to encourage that your plant to be so branchy and to have more branches this one will branch on its own naturally so that's why you don't have to be tipping or spraying anything to boost the growth because itself it's behaving well naturally when this fruit is ready it turns yellow like this one which is around me here and it's a very good and it has a lot of juice that's why it's called juicy lemon i always tell you that i'm the best farmer and i'm the african fruit farming queen thank you very much for watching my today's video see you in my next video as you see more and different fruits that we had the narrative or the theory or myth that they can't do well in africa but they are doing in my farm